five months after the Highland Park shooting, the demand for change is growing, and it's happening on both the local and national levels. The effort part of a greater push by the president and gun safety advocates to get a ban on assault weapons. And WGN's Shannon Halligan is joining us now with more tonight. Shannon. Doctors from Highland Park and across the country gathered in D.C. Tonight, survivors of the Highland Park July 4th parade shooting held a healing forum, and President Biden spoke at a national vigil on gun safety, all with the same goal and gun violence. We dressed in red, white, and blue to honor our country at our town's annual holiday parade. Dr. Emily Lieberman and her family were at the July 4th Highland Park Parade. Then gunshots blazed overhead. My husband and I each grabbed a child and we ran for our lives. Dr. Lieberman joined doctors from all over the U.S. with the March 4th Coalition. They want to tell lawmakers that mass shootings are a public health crisis and the time to act and pass an assault weapons ban is now. Tragically, 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 tragically. guns are now, guns are now the, number the number one killer of American, of American children. American children. The Newtown Action Alliance Foundation held their yearly vigil Wednesday night. This year marks 10 years since the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Since 12 moviegoers movie were, were, were killed and 58 others were injured in Aurora, in Aurora. and 26 and children and children educators were killed, were killed by gunmen, by gunmen with, weapons, by weapons, of with weapons of war, more than one, more than one million one Americans, Americans have been shot. President Joe Biden spoke at the vigil, noting gun legislation passed in June, but added that more needs to be done. Together, we made some important progress. The most significant gun law passed in 30 years, but still not enough. The House passed legislation that would restrict high-powered assault weapons, but Congress lacks sufficient support to get the ban signed into law. I'll be honest with you, it's hard in the closing days to take an issue of this controversy before the Congress and get it into an important bill, but we're not going to give up trying. Highland Park residents also gathered Wednesday for a healing forum. Despite the hurdles in Congress and overcoming trauma, they're working to make change any way they can. You can't always choose what happens to you. Isn't that the truth? I would never, never in a million years have chosen my son to be murdered. However, I can take my personal power back in how I choose to thoughtfully respond. When it comes to nationwide gun policy, just over half of voters want stricter gun laws. That's according to a survey by the Associated Press and the University of Chicago. 14% of those surveyed said they prefer looser gun laws. Mm. All right, Shannon.